Today, I'm going to use a paintball CO2 tank to build a carbonator. Here's what you'll need. One CO2 tank. This one's actually for a paintball gun. One CO2 regulator. Make sure the input valve looks like this. And the output valve looks like that. This is an adapter that lets you hook up a paintball tank to a CO2 regulator. You can get these online. One quarter inch barb adapter. One water filter housing. A one inch PVC threaded plug. This is actually two adapters. The big one is a one inch to a one half inch adapter, and the small one is a one half inch to a five eighths inch adapter. You'll need a length of one quarter inch vinyl tubing, two small hose clamps, and some thread seal tape. First take your one inch plug and wrap a few turns of thread seal tape around it. You're going to need to do this to every single threaded part that you have. This will help seal up in between the threads and prevent the CO2 from escaping. If you don't do this, it's not going to work. Now locate the output port on your water filter housing cover. And then screw in the PVC plug. Make sure it's really tight and then go ahead and tighten it down even more with a pair of pliers or a big wrench. Now take your adapter assembly and thread in your 5 8 inch to a 1 quarter inch barb adapter. Make sure it's really tight with the wrench. You don't want any of that CO2 escaping. Now take the entire adapter assembly and thread it into the input port on the water filter housing cover. Next we're going to attach the paintball adapter onto the CO2 regulator. Mine came with this little plastic ring that helps make a seal and then go ahead and thread in the paintball adapter. Once it's nice and tight, the CO2 valve should tighten up as well. Now take your barb adapter and attach it to the output port of the CO2 regulator. Make sure that one's nice and tight as well. Next take one of the small hose clamps and slide it over one of the ends of your vinyl tubing. Then press the vinyl tubing onto the barb adapter of your CO2 regulator. Finally, you can slide the pipe clamp down over the barb adapter and then tighten it with a screwdriver. Now do the exact same thing on the other end. This time you're going to attach it to the barb adapter that's attached to the water filter housing. Go ahead and tighten that one up really good. Now it's time for the fun part. Go ahead and fill up your water filter housing about three quarters of the way with water then reattach it to the cover. Now take a look at your CO2 regulator. The valve on the front should be labeled close and open. Make sure it's all the way closed. When it's closed, it won't feel tight, it'll feel very loose. Now attach the paintball tank. Once the paintball tank's attached, you should see the pressure rise on the input gauge. The pressure on the output gauge should read zero because you closed the valve. Now open the valve really slowly don't want to overdo it just in case you have any leaks. Slowly increase the pressure. I increase mine to about 20 psi. Now shake up that water. You have to agitate it a lot or else it won't carbonate. Now if you press the red button on top of the water filter housing, you can safely release all that pressurized CO2. Then check the output gauge on your CO2 regulator to make sure it's set to zero. And go ahead and remove the cap, and in just a few minutes, we've got bubbly water. Oh, that looks good. Listen to those bubbles. You know, there's nothing like a filter housing full of bubbly water to help cool down after a successful build. But it's got me wondering. What else can I do with this thing? How about carbonated fruit? Here I've got some orange slices, pineapple slices, and strawberries. Fill up the chamber, tighten the cap, and then go ahead and increase the pressure just like before. 
I waited about 25 minutes and then I released all the pressure. That smells really good. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cap again. Now you can hear the bubbles. And let's see what we got. Let's give this a shot. Mm. Oh, that's cool. That orange is a, it's fizzy. I mean, I guess what you'd expect, but it's just weird to have an orange fizzy in your mouth. Let's try the pineapple. Oh. That's really good. I mean, it's good pineapple, but that carbonation really adds a little something extra. And we'll, we'll try the strawberry. I wouldn't recommend strawberry. That wasn't, I mean, it was bubbly, but it, the flavor is just not so much. Mm. Oh, that orange is very good. I had, if you do this, do oranges if you like oranges. That was good. And pineapple. I love pineapple. That, this is. So that was a fun experiment. Any food that has a high water content should work. So like different kinds of melon. The pineapple worked really well. The oranges worked really well. So pick fruits that you like that have high water content. I'm sure other foods would work too. Um, maybe like a tomato. I mean, that'd be kind of weird, but be kind of fun to experiment with that, so maybe I'll try that sometime and post a video of that. But for now, I'm going to call this done, and I'll see you on my next project.